what's up everyone so unfortunately it's a little too late to plant broccoli and cabbage now but I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video and talk about some of my strategies for growing broccoli and cabbage and I also had some video that I shot from a little bit earlier in the month whenever we planted it so I'll splice that in here as well we're going to go through the seedlings that we grew inside now and pick out the best ones to start planting with so Brooklyn pick out the one that you think is the best let's try and figure out probably which ones like plant. the biggest ones yeah that's a good place like, to start so look at the biggest one like this one and that's a good this yeah that's one. A, Okay, so Brooklyn has a broccoli plant now that she wants to plant in her garden. So let's figure out where we want to put this one. So Brooklyn, where do you think we should put it? Um, two squares over. Two squares over? Why is that? Well, because the same bugs get the same plant, so we want them to be a little far away. Yeah, that's them. exactly right. So broccoli and cabbage are the same type of plant. They have, meaning that the same pests go after both of them. So we want to put those away from each other a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna plant some onions as a barrier between the two plants, as uh, hopefully to prevent pests from uh, from hopping from one plant to the other if one happens to, to get pests. So this is our seeding square that we use, and this is based on the square foot gardening method. So onions are 16 per square. So the red ones um, are, the, are the 16 layout. So we're just gonna press this little tool down in every red square or red circle and then come back behind and uh, drop onions in each of the holes. But the main thing to be aware of with broccoli and cabbage is it's gonna be attacked by pests. You're gonna have cabbage worms uh, that you're gonna have to deal with, especially if, you're, if you take the, the uh, organic approach like I do. So I shot a video yesterday and uploaded it and I'll put it up in the corner uh, talking about how we deal with cabbage worms, so I won't go too much into that. But one thing I did wanna mention is how I use companion planting. So you can see this bed here. I have a lot of herbs mixed all throughout. I have sage here, I have rosemary, there's oregano, um, just all sorts of stuff mixed throughout here. And the purpose of that is to throw off the cabbage moss that lay their eggs and turn into cabbage worms. They find the plant through smell. So if you have herbs through here that are strongly scented, that's going to throw the, the pest off or they're not able to find it. And that's why I have that stuff mixed all through my beds. So over here I have oregano, um, oregano there. Some rosemary and thyme through here as well and um, it may not look like the plants are, are doing much now but this stuff grows really fast I mean this this oregano plant here will will be uh, taking up this entire space in a hurry so anyway I just wanted to shoot a quick video uh, explaining what I do with, um, with broccoli and cabbage and hopefully this helps uh, he's marking the levels for the plants